Discovering Luck. The story behind drawing the lucky straw. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might have heard in English conversations. Drawing the lucky straw. Understanding idioms like this one can really spice up your language learning journey and help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's explore what this phrase means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your daily conversations. When someone draws the lucky straw, they've unexpectedly found themselves in a fortunate situation, often by chance. This phrase is commonly used in situations where a selection is made among multiple options, and the person who picks the lucky straw gets a positive outcome. It's a bit like winning a small lottery or having a stroke of good luck when you least expect it. The phrase, drawing the lucky straw, has its roots in an old game or decision-making process. Imagine a group of people needing to make a choice or select someone for a task, but wanting to leave it to chance. They would use straws of different lengths, where the person who picks the shortest or sometimes the longest straw, depending on the agreed rules, wins or is chosen for something. Drawing the lucky straw meant you got the favorable end of the deal. You can use Drawing the lucky straw, in various scenarios, from casual conversations to more formal discussions. Here are a few examples to help you get started. I felt like I drew the lucky straw when I randomly found a $20 bill on the sidewalk. In the lottery of room assignments, I definitely drew the lucky straw with a view of the seat. Choosing blindly which company to apply for, she ended up drawing the lucky straw with the one that offered incredible benefits. This idiom adds a playful element to the language, allowing you to express the concept of serendipity and good fortune effectively. And there you have it, the meaning and usage of drawing the lucky straw in the English language. Idioms like this one make English vibrant and colorful, and understanding them will not only boost your fluency but also enrich your conversations. We hope you found this video helpful and that you'll have many opportunities to use this phrase in your own experiences. Don't forget to practice, stay curious, and as always, happy learning.